Imagine opening a world on your phone. You tap a button, nothing happens, the camera feels jerky, or the text is too small to read. Frustrating, right? Now imagine the opposite. Smooth camera, big clear text, menus that just work. That's the difference good mobile design makes. Hi creators, I'm Alexia, and in this video, we're gonna explore the three essentials for making worlds that feel smooth and frustration-free on mobile. We'll start with how to make a great first impression. That means designing onboarding and user experiences that feel intuitive and easy to navigate on a mobile device. Then we'll look at how to create a clear, mobile-friendly UI that helps players focus on the fun without getting lost in the interface. And finally, we'll talk about how to tag your world so that the right players can find it. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools to design worlds that feel natural on mobile and keep players coming back for more. On mobile, the first 30 seconds decide whether a player sticks around or swipes away. New user experience, or NUX, should teach the core game loop quickly and feel effortless from the start. Your onboarding doesn't need walls of text. Instead, use the world itself to guide players. Use cues like lights, arrows, or simple animations. In the first few seconds, players should be able to figure out what to do without ever reading instructions. Mobile players often struggle with controls. That's where the follow camera comes in. By aligning the player's view with their avatar's direction, you make movement smoother and even possibly one-handed. It turns clunky controls into a fluid experience. When you design your first moments with clear guidance and smooth controls, players settle in right away. That strong first impression makes them far more likely to stay and explore your world. On mobile, your interface is the player's lifeline. If a menu doesn't respond or your text is too small to read, players lose trust. And once that trust is gone, it's hard to win back. That's why clear, reliable UI design is one of the most important parts of your mobile world. First, every button needs to work. It sounds simple, but many worlds reuse UIs designed for VR. On mobile, those same buttons often don't register taps at all. And nothing kills trust faster than pressing a button that doesn't respond. Adding small sound effects or subtle animations can make each tap feel even more immediate and satisfying, reinforcing that the system is reacting to the player's input. Even a tiny delay or a silence can make players doubt the whole experience. Next, keep your UI simple. Mobile screens are small and players don't want to fight through a cluttered interface. Too many buttons are confusing and overwhelming. Instead, prioritize the essentials, the things that players need right away, and move everything else into menus they can open later. A clean UI makes the experience feel intuitive and lets players focus on the fun, not the clutter. Finally, make your text readable. Small fonts or low contrast text are almost impossible to see on mobile, especially outdoors. Use large, bold fonts with strong contrast and place text on a clean backdrop instead of a busy texture. A quick test is holding your phone out in bright light. If you can't read it, your players can't either. We have a few great examples of changing the text size in our new user experience tutorial. Let's take a look. We have a lot of different signs in here and assets that you can use for work in mobile and uh, new user experience. So we have these world space signs here, and then we also have some screen space signs that you can use for your mobile screen. Right now I'm gonna take a look at this text in the hierarchy and show you how to change the size. In the rich text box here, there is a size at 75%, but I'll just change the size from three to let's make it 20 and go crazy. And it gets very large. Um, I'm gonna turn it back to three. And one of the practices that I like to do uh, making mobile games is just if I think something is a good text size, I usually double it. I think that's a good practice to have to make something super legible. Our other example of tutorial signage for screen space is over here in the Nux Tutorial Manager. If you check out the custom UI labeled Tutorial UI, we've written a custom script that has some of the attributes for the text, and you can change the sizes here. So we have 30. Um, I think that's a pretty good size already. I'll just make it 40 so it's a little bit bigger. And when I press play and then go to station one, I can see some of the screen space text that we have set up for mobile. Buttons should work, menus should be simple, and text should be easy to read. When your UI feels clear and trustworthy, players feel confident and ready to explore. A good UI isn't just polish, it's the foundation of players' trust. You can design the smoothest mobile experience in the world, but it won't matter if players can't find it. 
That's why discoverability is the final step in creating a mobile-friendly world. With the right tags and publishing settings, you make sure your world reaches the players it was designed for. When you publish, use the correct world tags to signal that your world is designed for mobile. Once you're ready to publish, you'll go over to the hamburger menu here and click Publish World. This will show you a variety of settings that you'll need to adjust once you are going to publish your world. We have age rating, which is required tags. So these will be your genre tags, not to be confused with um, adding a mobile or a VR only tag. Your availability, which is for the platforms, mobile, web, and VR, mobile and web only, or VR only. Since we do want to publish on mobile, we'll leave it to all. And then comfort rating, you have comfortable, moderate, and intense. This is for experiences where you may have it in VR and it's super fast paced. For this new user experience tutorial, we'll just keep it uncomfortable. Once you have all of those required settings complete, you'll be ready to publish your world. If you mix up world tags with entity tags, your experience might show up in the wrong places or even not at all. Correct tags help the right players discover your world and avoid confusion. Before you hit publish, take a moment to check your world's properties. Is it set to target mobile users? Is your title and description clear about what players will find? These small details can make a huge difference in whether players click in or scroll past. When your world is tagged correctly and published with mobile players in mind, you make it easy for the right audience to find you. Discoverability is a bridge between the work you've done and the players who will enjoy it. Designing for mobile isn't just about shrinking your world onto a smaller screen, though. It's about creating an experience that feels smooth, clear, and easy from the very first tap. When you use simple onboarding and smooth camera controls to guide the players clearly in their first moments, you help them feel comfortable right away. A clear, functional UI builds trust and makes it easy for players to focus on the fun. And when you publish your world with the right tags, mobile players can actually find it. Put all of that together and you turn what could be a frustrating mobile experience into one that feels intuitive, enjoyable, and worth coming back to again and again. So here's your challenge. Before you publish your next world, open it on your phone. Ask yourself, can a brand new player understand what to do in the first 30 seconds? Do the menus and text feel natural? And is your world tagged so the right players can find it? If the answer is yes, you're ready to publish with confidence. If not, make those adjustments. Because on mobile, every detail matters. Visit the links in the description to learn more about designing worlds for mobile. And join the Meta Horizon Creator Forum for access to community programming and additional resources. See you in the next video.